I want to say rest in peace to Dante Wright and Adam Toledo. They were both murdered within the past week by police. And um, I really just want to send a family peace and blessings and whatever that means to them. Uh, we got to stop burying our children and, and, and burying our black men to uh, police uh, brutality. All right, so today we actually going to make uh, crab legs with champagne butter. And this idea was sent in to me by Kina. She said, yo, I'm going to keep saying cook crab legs till you make crab legs. So thank you, Kina. You won. This is actually going to be her prize, which I'm going to send out to her. It's going to be our Brooklyn butter bundle. So she gets seafood butter, which is Acacia seafood butter. She's going to get the cinnamon sugar butter. And she's going to get a garlic and herb butter. So. This episode, this bundle is gonna drop. It's gonna be $30 for all three. I could drop it all to you. You could pick it up. I could send that shit through the UPS, UFO, however. We are gonna get it going. It's gonna be on the Etsy, DM me, all that. Let's get into it. Pull up, time for cooking with cream. All right, y'all. So, crab legs and champagne butter. Okay, this is gonna be crazy. I didn't want to do a typical seafood boil, but we're going to kind of cook this together, then deconstruct it. So I got some of the items that we would normally find in a seafood boil, a traditional one anyway. And then, you know, we're going to play it how we play it. Because over here, we take our food and we realize that it's luxury food, even though they tell us it's not. And we also take stuff that's commonly thought of as luxury food and we make it our own. Let's get into it. Crab legs. We got some big ass snow crab legs. I ain't even going to lie. I went to Whole Foods and they had some big joints. So we're gonna use these. It's about four pounds. We got some nice bicolor uh, organic non GMO corn. You see the multicolor. So everything is not yellow, how they uh, go ahead and, and alter the dynamic of it. So that's good. Boom. Sausage. You know, I like sausage. This is a good pork sausage. This is a garlic and herb sausage, okay? Um, now, I know y'all asked me before if y'all could go ahead and switch the sausage out in this recipe. Y'all absolutely can. If you want to use turkey sausage, chicken sausage, y'all go ahead and do that. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm never going to stop eating pork. But I will tell you this. When you look into turkey sausage and chicken sausage, please look at the packaging because a lot of it is still wrapped in pork casing. So be mindful of that. Boom. We got some fingerling potatoes. Nice organic fingerling potatoes. So we got some reds here, some purples here, some browns here. Um... Then we got our champagne. Okay, to add it to the butter. We're gonna go ahead and use a brute today. I love Clico. Um, Cajun seafood, Old Bay, lemon pepper, get into it. Fresh lemons. Ghee. We're not gonna use regular butter today. We're gonna use ghee. So ghee is an Indian butter because they remove the milk solids from it. So it's a clarified butter. A lot of chefs really, really, really love clarified butter. It's just like, it's like butter on, it's on steroids because you remove all the shit you really don't want. Then you get left with this real earthy, um, nutty kind of situation and this shit, shit is good. So we usually probably order this shit because you know we like butter. We season our shit over here. Um, as usual, I got my chicken bouillon, got some duck fat. What I'm going to do with the duck fat is after I steam these uh, potatoes a little bit, I'm going to crisp them up in the duck fat. Amazing. Uh, fresh garlic, shallot, all that kind of shit. Let's get into it. Alright, so before we get cooking, I'm actually going to enjoy some of this champagne because why the fuck not move that away from my face because I'm keeping this face pretty until somebody rabbi ass son shoes me. Yeah, we're gonna open this, pull me a glass. All right, so I have this pot here. It's boiling some water, not a lot, because I don't want to boil the crab legs. I want to steam them, but I do want it to be enough to cover our corn, sausage, and potatoes, okay? But right now, we're going to season our water first. Let's add some, uh, some of that Clico into the water so that I can steam directly into all of the meat, potatoes, and all of that, okay? So we're just going to put a little bit in there. Just going to add a little bit of, um, like I said, seasoning. Boyan. Okay, this shit is chicken stock, 
on steroids. You really don't need a lot. You gonna put some of that in there. What's that? A tea, tea, oh, teaspoon. That's a teaspoon. A lot. It's a teaspoon. I'm gonna put that in there. What else we gonna put in there? I'm gonna cut me up a lemon. Squeeze the juice of the lemon in there. All right. It's about a half a lemon. You don't wanna get crazy. Maybe drop that bitch in there. Little obey. Like I said, you season in your water so that way all them flavors can marry and get up in that uh them potatoes, sausages, and all that. Big ass clove of garlic. Throw that joint in there. And then we can throw our veggies in here. Now, yes, I wash the vegetables, they clean, they good to go. We clean all set, but this is a cooking show. I ain't gonna take you to the damn sink with me. You know what's what? Corn. In sausage, in potatoes, in okay. We're gonna leave the crab legs for last because that's the stuff that cooks the quickest. And I've got that right up in there. I'm gonna mix that together and let that steam on through. All right, these take a little bit longer. So I'll say maybe in about 10 15 minutes we come back and we check up on them. Leave that like that. Alright? Cover that, set that shit, and forget that shit. Alright, y'all, let's get into the champagne butter. So, I got nine ounces of ghee, which is our Indian clarified butter. Uh, this is, these come in flavors, but uh, this is just a regular one today. And scoop all that shit out, because, like I said, we like seasoning. We like butter. That's one thing about us. We like butter. Got that starting to formulate. So run it down. And when this goes down, we actually gonna add our champagne in there to enhance the flavor. And it's gonna get nice and thick. I'm gonna add a little bit of that seasoning mix that I always use. So that's that old bay. That's that Cajun, that's that lemon pepper. We're gonna add some of that in there. Not too much, because we want the champagne uh, flavor to come out more than anything. A little bit of lemon. Go hold your hands. I got a little squeeze of things, but we ain't gonna use it right now. But you can hold your hand um, underneath it so that way the seeds don't go in the actual sauce. So you're just gonna get the juice. All right, juice from a half a lemon. Throw that in there. And this is gonna be crazy. Uh, before I put the champagne in, I actually have a half a shallot and I'm gonna grate that into our butter because we want the flavoring of the shallot, but we don't want big um, chunks of the onion in there. So I'm just gonna grate that. Nice and slow because this pan is hot. Wash your knuckles, wash your fingers because the last thing you want is to grate your fingers. A lot of chefs have ugly hands. Me included, because I'm always cutting some shit. Now, grating it, like I said, is gonna give us that flavor without it being overpowering and without big chunks all in it. What Shook said, like, if you don't want your producer all in the video, all that kind of shit in front of the camera, come to death row, it's like coming to death row. You don't want the big pieces of onion all in your butter. All of that goodness from the bottom. Now, if you have some chunks in there, that's fine. It's not like anything that's bad. Got that. Boom. I'm gonna do the same thing with some garlic. So we got fresh garlic here, and I'm gonna grate that into it. I know a lot of people that make seafood boils and seafood butter and all that use some big pieces of garlic. And you see it all on the crab legs and stuff. I don't like how that looks. To me, that looks trash and most of the time you see them on um, the pieces of garlic like that that's not fresh garlic okay that's garlic they don't got out of damn jar and been sitting there for six months full in oh well see all them pieces on the bottom that's everything you grated 
Now this uh, tool that I'm using here is actually called a microplane. If you don't have a microplane or a regular cheese grater, you can use that as well. If you don't have neither of those, that's fine. Just try to chop up the ingredients as small as you can. All right, take yourself a nice knife, take your time, and just chop it up as finely as you can. Come together nicely. We're gonna go ahead and have our champagne. Now, once that alcohol starts to burn down and burn off, this is gonna become like a syrup. So we're just gonna leave that there, let it cook, and let it reduce down, that's what it's called. Let's say maybe 10 minutes, let it reduce down. It's gonna be nice and thick and come up to a boil. Get one more bits from the bottom. One more bits on the bottom is flavor, so you wanna take that off the pan Okay, so our corn, sausage, potatoes is boiled all in that good seasoned water and all that. What I'm actually going to do is take that sausage out and that corn out. We're going to get some grill marks on it. All right, so we're going to put this on a nice hot grill pan. Let me just go on. get some nice grill marks on it. It only take a couple seconds. Because nobody wants to eat sauces that looks like this. It's cooked all the way through, but don't nobody want to white ass sauces like that. But now we're going to get some color on. Pale ass sauce. Give some nice color. Come on. Alright, so on this side, I'm going to get our potatoes started. Um, Pan nice and hot. I got some rendered duck fat. Duck fat is fucking amazing, especially to fry potatoes or beef tallow. It's just, yo, know, it just adds a level of intense flavor that is amazing. So I'm gonna take my um, potatoes fresh off the pot and transfer it into this oil and then let them uh, just get a little bit of crispiness on the outside. Corn, my sauces, give it some color, and now we just gonna add a little bit of more flavor to our finger length potatoes. Have them get a little bit of um, add a texture to them. All right, boom. I'm going to add our crab legs into the pot. Obviously, this don't fit all the way, so we just gonna put that on. Say, so do reverse, reverse. Gonna get these started a little bit. They're gonna steam the bottom. I'm gonna flip them and they're gonna go ahead and steam the top. Okay, so our potatoes are nice and blistered. Meaning, look at that. You see the potato itself, the, the skin that started to crisp up. So we're gonna transfer that over here. We're gonna transfer and plate it all nice. Remember, I told you it's like a deconstructed seafood oil. Everything won't be on the same plate. It's going to be a little bit separate, and that's fine. All right, our sauces and our corn looks beautiful. Done caramelized, and I gave it some nice color. Look at that. Look at that color versus that pale sauces that when we pulled it out the pot before, okay? Cook all the way through. Got you some nice color on there. Put that bomb. Same thing with the corn. Look at that. Corn and got a tan. Nice roasted corn. I'm gonna place that there. Place that over there. Oh my goodness. Coming together nicely. Waiting on them crab legs. Once the crab legs finish and this butter finish, all good. All right, so all our elements are done. Crab legs in the steamer for about 15, 20 minutes. Remember, just like with any seafood, it cooks quickly. Don't be sitting here leaving your crab legs on for 30 minutes and now it tastes like some damn rubber. That's not what we finna do, okay? So, boom. Look at these bitches here, boy. Ooh, you would not think that was snow crab. Look at that. Yeah. These joints got heavy. All right, 
we have another man in the pot, but obviously you can't fit it, so. We gonna take our champagne butter and just pour that bitch on the side. Oh I'm not gonna pour all of it so that way we could put some on the side for dipping. Finish it with a little bit of seafood seasoning. Get my little sobe on. This food nasty though, this food like Ooh wee! The micro greens. See, we, you know, we usually do the little parsley. We, we stepping it up a little bit. Little micro greens on top. This is micro kale greens and micro, ca micro cabbage greens. So we'll finish it off with some lemon slices. Play some with it, nice and pretty and shit. That's it, baby. Look at that. Look at that motherfucker there. Look at that shit. This is what I'm actually gonna do. Take smaller potatoes. Boom. Run in that butter a little bit. Burn my finger up. <laughs> So damn good. We just take all the seafood seasoning, the butter, garlic. Mm -mm -mm. All right, y'all. Thank you for tuning in. I had a great time as usual. I'm Chef Cream, Cooking with Cream, Episode Three: Champagne Butter Crab Legs. We got our corn, our sausage, our potatoes. I'm finna bust this shit down. But make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Cooking with Cream, Chef Dot Cream, two Instagrams. These bundles. Thank you, Keenan, for giving me the idea to do some crab legs. Three for 30, all organic, grass-fed butter, okay? I can mail them to you, meet you in the parking lot. I don't give a fuck. We're going to get these bundles out the way. Let me know. Remember, our food is luxury. Luxury is subjective. We here. All right, so we done. We got everything plated. Pour me up a little bit more champagne. We got that champagne butter smothered all over these crab legs, corn and potatoes, sausage. And I don't even know where to start. Yes. Let's take this joint right here. Yeah, this every episode food make me so happy and I make this shit so good. It is good. That's some good shit. Mm -mm -mm. That champagne we put in that water, the seep through the uh, shell, then we got it coated on top. It's crazy. Crazy. Let me see how some of the sauce is tasting. Y'all can't be filming me eating because this ain't cute. This is so good. <laughs> this is so good. Listen, y'all. Thank you for tuning in to Cooking with Cream, Episode 3, Champagne Butter Crab Legs. Thank you, Kina. This is going to be on its way to you. Get you some champagne in your life. All right? You're amazing and I love you.